Hi everyone, I'm Jessica, back for another week of Tasty Tuesdays, where we try out a recipe from the Mount Vernon Farmer's Market Cookbook, and also work with some fresh seasonal produce. And I also have an apron upgrade this week, which I'm really excited about. Just a reminder, you can get the cookbook or the apron um, and a lot of other fun merchandise at the market when you're there every Saturday. So this Saturday I picked up some snap peas from Innis Creek Farms that I'm gonna work with. I chose a recipe from the book called Quinoa with Snap Peas and Mint, and that was submitted by Margaret Horak, a fellow board member of mine. Hi, Margaret. Um, so I'm really excited to take you through this today, and it's really quick and easy, which is a bonus in my opinion. So what we're gonna do first is make up the sweet berry vinaigrette, which is really delicious. The best way to do this is if you have an extra mason jar and lid lying around to um, put everything in the jar and shake it up. So that's what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do is start with a half cup of olive oil. We're gonna add some raspberry vinegar Margaret makes a note in the recipe that if you don't have raspberry vinegar, you could use something like rice wine vinegar. Um, just make sure to add a little bit of extra honey, which brings me to my next ingredient. I picked up some blackberry honey this Saturday from Bruce Bowen Bees at the market. So we're gonna toss a little bit of that in there too. About two tablespoons. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of Dijon mustard, which I find is the secret ingredient to all of the homemade salad dressings that I love. All right, and finally, we're gonna add some minced garlic to the jar. And that's it. Put on the lid tightly. <laughs> Shake it up. And there you go, your vinaigrette's ready. So then all that's left to do is take your quinoa. I actually have some leftover from dinner earlier this week, so I'm just gonna toss that in. Snap peas. And this adds a tiny bit of work, um, but I like to split mine in half. If you don't want the extra work, don't worry about it, just put them in whole. But I like, um, I like that bite a little bit better. And then we're gonna add about a tablespoon of minced mint. Mint is so good, but sometimes the texture can be a little rough. Um, so make sure you just get that minced really finely. And then the vinaigrette. Pour that in. Give it a stir. Let me get this in a serving dish so you can take a look at it. All right, take a look at this. Quinoa with snap peas and mint. And actually, if you and your family are a big fan of feta, I think feta would be a delicious topping on this. So I plan to have this for lunch today with a side salad, probably a little bit of this extra vinaigrette on top, and quinoa, and maybe a slice of crusty bread. I hope you enjoyed, happy cooking, and we'll see you next week, bye.